What's up, Lucky Gamers? It's Lucky Lux, and today we're going to be going over the healers in Tower of Fantasy. My main healers, that's mostly what I have upgraded on my account. You guys can catch me on Twitch if you want to see that gameplay. But we're going to be going over a brief overview over all the healers, just kind of skimming over the top, and then we'll dive in deep in later videos for each character, so you guys will be able to see those as I put them out over the week. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, so first up, we're gonna be going over Nemesis, right? So she is a Volt user. She has really great charge, meaning she can get her discharge skill off really fast. Her Shatter is like, okay, but not the greatest at B, right? Uh, so she has Volt, she can do the Paralyze for enemies, um, basically just giving you a little extra breathing room and getting all their buffs. Um, and then with her Volt Resonance, you get increased attack by 15%, right? So when you go over her skills, uh, the main thing on her skills is that Venus fires um, a guided missile that explodes on contact with enemy target dealing damage equal to 233% of attack plus 293 because where I have her at and knocking down targets. This is on a 25 second cooldown. This is honestly a really quick cooldown um, when you compare it to other healers. So this is something uh, good to know, especially if you put constellations on her. Uh, but we'll go over that when we like go over like a more in-depth guide on Nemesis, right? Her discharge skill when the weapon charge is full, she clears all debuffs, commands Venus to fire a cross-shaped ray at the ground, creating an unstable area, reducing target's movement speed by 70%. After brief delay, unleash a electromagnetic uh, burst that deals damage equal to X amount of attack, plus um, another X amount of attack. Using a discharge skill will spawn one electrode near the enemy's position that attacks once every 1.5 seconds, dealing damage equal to X, per X percent of attack plus X amount. The Electrode gains 100% of the Wanderer's stats, can be attacked or healed, and loses 3% of its max HP every one second. If you're wondering why I'm saying X, it's because like not all the values are going to be the same for everybody. Mine is overtuned, right? Is that a 6 star? Um, I did this a lot in my Ardor Gear content. I just don't want people getting confused and being like, yo, why aren't my values the same? So I just say X amount because it changes for you, right? Because it's, it's varied. But uh, this ability, the movement speed is like really more so like better for like PvP. But it can help. But this is just like a big burst of damage. It puts this electrode down, which is honestly really great. Um, and you can heal the electrode, right? Uh, so it and it acts as a target as well, which is pretty cool, honestly. All right, so for Omnium Wave, uh, basically you gain five Qs upon switching to the weapon, and then you unleash them all in the Shock Wave. You deal X amount of attack plus X amount to nearby enemies, and then you launch them into the air. Each cube deals X amount of attack plus an X amount. If allied in the vicinity, they gain damage immunity for three seconds. So zero is going to be really great for um, basically shielding your team and preventing them from taking damage, right? So this is going to be an instance where you're really needing to protect yourself. So you can use that discharge when you know that there's a mechanic coming up or you need to protect yourself. You can give everybody just complete damage immunity and then you can use a skill to give them a shield. So there's certain instances like Apophis, right? If Apophis is doing the Spirit Bomb, you could pop that Discharge skill and just immune that damage. Uh, if you see Frostbot or anybody doing something that could completely just wipe you guys out, you can control that if you are really good with your timing and you know the cadences or cues for those bosses and you can just cancel all of that out. So that's pretty much uh, Zero's effectiveness right, is with the shielding and preventing damage from your people uh, when you have them at base. And that's what makes them, honestly, a really great support. All right, so next up, we have Coco Ritter with Absolute Zero. Honestly, for a free-to-play player or somebody who doesn't want to invest, she's going to be the best healer for you if you're wanting to go heals because she actually has the strongest heals for you um, without putting a bunch of investment into her kit. And you guys will see what I mean. So she has uh, S on charge, which is really good at getting her discharge skill off. And she also has Shatter. She has Ice Shell is because she is a Frost type, so she can freeze targets and cause a burst of damage to them and lower their weapon charge rate for like PvP situations, right? So with her skill, she creates a healing zone that moves with the Wanderer and heals nearby allies for X amount of attack plus an X amount once every 0.5 seconds for six seconds. This is on the six. 60 second cooldown so this is a pretty ridiculous cooldown um honestly for a heal yes but you'll just have to really use her discharge skill where she removes all debuffs and the staff continues to remove debuffs from the wanderer and allies plus healing everybody for x amount of attack plus 149 for seven seconds so the quicker you can get off this discharge skill the quicker you can heal with her 
right? Her skill, yes, it's really long and it travels with her, but this one will be really, really good if you can get around your like allies, run up to the tank, run up to DPS, and give them a great heal. But again, really great healer um, for you early game. She's basically like a SSR version of Pepper. If you special, they literally have the same um, like move sets and everything, honestly. So lastly, but certainly not least, we have Pepper with her staff of scars. So she has uh, some of the highest charge. Uh, she has really low shatter, unfortunately, right? She's also a vault user, so she has the same paralyzed with her. Um, she has a really, really great kit. Honestly, one of the strongest healers you can get as a free to play. Yes, I said that because you don't need um, to basically invest like large amounts of money and summons. It's really easy to try to star up an SR, especially if the fact you can purchase a weapon. So, like, if you're wanting to go healer, uh, she's another great option to have because she doesn't require as much investment to actually get her healing started. So with her skill, she creates an energy shield at the Wanderer's location, heals allies within the shield for X amount of attack, plus an X amount every second and reduces their damage taken by 3%. I think that stays for 10 seconds, 60 second cooldown. So, you know, she just lowers the damage and she does a nice little heal. On her discharge skill, she removes all debuffs from the wielder and staff continues to remove debuffs from the Wanderer and allies, plus healing them from X amount of attack um for seven seconds so really similar to coco ritter right because again she's an sr version of that but really great healer um honestly again uh if you can invest into her early uh you can see yourself being able to heal a lot of content until you're able to get one of the stronger healers and there is no reason why not to invest into her honestly but that is pretty much all the healers that we have so if you guys did like this video just drop a like on it uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more of this content click the bell that you guys know when i upload i'm gonna try to bring you guys daily um content honestly uh and i love making this healer content because healer is what i'm maining and if you want to see me play healer then catch me over at twitch at twitch.tv lucky Lux gaming i will be getting a schedule out because honestly i need to schedule all this because i've been playing so much uh that it's going to be more effective with the schedule but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here you lucky gamers have a good one lucky Lux out